I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to uh, devote my life, uh, my body, if need be, to something greater than myself or any one individual. In 2010, I deployed with 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines to Marja, Afghanistan. We were constantly attacked, just like we were every single day for the entire deployment. The fighting was very intense, and it wasn't a matter of, okay, is it gonna happen, but just a matter of when. Myself and an amazing uh, friend and fellow Marine, Lance Corporal Nick Euphrasio, we were on top of that roof together. We were near the end of our four-hour post position on top of the roof when the enemy initiated a daylight attack with hand grenades. I felt like I got hit really hard in the face. My vision was as if I was looking at a TV with no connection. It was just white and gray static. I thought about my family and how devastated they were going to be, especially my mother, that I didn't make it home from Afghanistan. And uh, I closed my eyes and I faded out of consciousness for what I thought was gonna be my last time on this earth. My injuries were so severe that still nine years later, um, it's hard to comprehend that I survived. I would encourage future generations. Not everyone has the freedoms and the peace uh, and the chance and hope for democracy that we have here. Don't go through every day just thinking that we're just here because we're here. You know, we got here because of um, incredible amounts of courage and sacrifice. The medal represents all who have raised their right hand and sworn to give their life, if called upon, for their country. It represents those who have never made it home to receive the thanks and recognition they deserve. Those who charged the beaches in World War II, froze while fighting in Korea, bled out across the lush fields of Vietnam, and those who never made it home because of another deadly blast in the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. Those who were tortured for years in prisoner of war camps, and those who still rest in distant lands, forever remaining, missing in action. The medal represents the parents, husbands, wives, and loved ones who have heard the dreaded knock on their front doors to find a telegram or service member delivering the unbearable news. This is where the true weight of the medal is carried. Being a Medal of Honor recipient is a beautiful burden, but one I am honored to carry.